a great tip, plus a download resource to prepare for your next stand-up presentation with my four-slide room projector checker. Hi, this is Les McCarter from Power Up Training, where I provide my decades of expertise to you for free. Using my free downloadable four-slide presentation file, you'll be able to check your presentation based on a projector or big screen TV monitor to make sure that your presentation can be optimized, looking at different font sizes, backgrounds, colors and contrasts, brightness and visibility around the room. I'm about to walk you through the use of this presentation file, which you can download here or find in the link in the YouTube notes below. While this is a PowerPoint file, it will be equally instructive for Apple's Keynote and Google Slides. Let's look at them and power up your presentation. Before you get started in testing your room, do take notes as you go through the slides on what does and does not work so that you can go back and incorporate the needed changes into your planned presentation. This first slide is a simple black and white file using the most basic sans serif Calvary font shown in different font sizes. With the first slide displayed on the presentation room screen, use it like an eye reading chart by going to the farthest sitting spot and decide which is the smallest readable font. I will explain more about the four arrows and the importance of them touching the edges of your screen in a few moments. Do recognize that black on white or white on black is the most readable combination. It may not be the most pleasing color combo, but it is the most readable. In our following test slides, the colors and font family choices will change and that may impact the back of the room readability. Also be sure to check the sides of your room as you go along. Our slide tester number two introduces a soft gray background, which may be more attractive than the flat white from the previous slide, but it will potentially impact the readability depending upon the quality of a projector system and the brightness of the presenting room. If the room has various lighting controls, you might experiment with dimming the room or turning off the front of the room lights by the projection screen. But beware. While turning the room into a dark movie theater mode will make your presentation more dramatic, you do risk putting your audience to sleep. With me, just darken a room and my eyes automatically start to close. Another change on our slide tester number two is that I've employed a different font called Corbell. Different font families have different characteristics and emotion plus a compactness of space between letters. Take a look here. This sample slide, which is not included in our projector tester slides, but it does help us understand the different fonts have different kerning and spacing results. I'm using the three font families here, and you can visually see that even though they are all set at the size of 28 points, the line length is different based on the red line to line things up. However, the letter height might have different characteristics that give them unique styles. The height really is not impacted on the font choice. Readability may be impacted by the font family you choose. Serif versus sans serif. There are two classes of fonts plain versus decorative. Serif fonts have a little extra flair on the edge. See the embellishments on the letter T edges versus the sans serif that is more straightforward. Typically, a sans serif font is more readable and is often used in newspaper headlines. This, at the same time, news stories themselves usually are set in serif. A long form text found in magazines and books, serif fonts will traditionally be used as some consider it easier to read for dense amounts of text. Looking at our sample here in the different columns, you can compare one versus the other of sans sample examples versus sans serif. Use your own sensibilities of what looks suitable for your presentation 
and do a test with different fonts for both impact and artistic look and feel for your presentation as is shown on your projector. Back to our projector checker slides. Here's number three. Here's what we're testing. One, a new font. This one is our first serif based font of Bookman Old Font. The words are now white on a dark background, just to contrast with our previous slides with the light or white backgrounds. See how this works in your target room. Also look to see that the slide is not just a solid background, but one with a delicate pattern, which is an excellent test of the projector or big screen TV's ability to render subtle differences in objects. Our projector slide number four is our last test, but lots of individual tests are happening here. First up is the aspect ratio of the projector. The tester assumes you're using the most common widescreen aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Here's what a widescreen looks like versus the standard 4 by 3 found on older projectors. The 16 unit count is the wide side and the 9 unit are tall. The units can be anything, inches, feet, meters, it's just a ratio of width to height. I'm also showing you where to make the change in PowerPoint. You can find it in the design menu on the top right, can, right corner under slide size. If you have an older projector, it's important to change this before you build your first slide. Get the canvas size right before working on your content. To learn more about these choices and the impact, look up above here for our video called Formatting PowerPoint for Effector Design. Okay, back to our last projector checker slide. What happens if you have the wrong aspect ratio? One of two things. The computer forces it to fit the full screen by squeezing the edges, and then your round circle will look like a tall oval. Or it will stretch the sides, but put a black bar on the bottom and the top of the screen. This is where the edge of slide arrows come to play. Look to make sure that the point of each arrow fills the projector screen. This works as a great test on TV screens, but for light projectors, do note that the actual projector screen is usually slightly, or in some rooms, much smaller than the actual projector itself. This is where the edge of slide arrows come to play. Look to make sure that the point of each arrow fills the projector screen. This works as a great test on TV screens, but for light projectors, do note that the actual projector screen itself is usually slightly, or in some rooms, much bigger than the projector's ability to fill the screen. Pay close attention to the edge of the projections when the projector is first turned on with the manufacturer's logo. You can then see where the light edges are located and then compare them to the projector checker slide arrows to see how they fit. The last item to check is the fidelity of the color palettes. Cheaper or older faded projector bulbs will not show the correct colors according to our human eyes. The best way to check is to look at skin colors. Humans are great at detecting if something looks off on faces. So examine our little girl scientist's face, noting the freckles and a bit of the red color in her cheeks. Do they look right? What to do if your colors look off? Well, other than putting in a request for a brand new projector, which is gonna be ignored, the alternative is to design your presentation so as not to depend on subtle colors and even limiting the inclusion of color-specific photographics in your presentation. Once you're done checking the room's capabilities, take your notes back and adjust your presentation to work in your target conference space or classroom, or even in a virtual Zoom or team meeting video conference. To get this PowerPoint checker file, go to the link as you see on the screen or go to power 
dashup.training website or use the link down below on our YouTube notes to find a direct connection to the presentation. If you want more insightful PowerPoint training, do subscribe to our YouTube channel all about Microsoft PowerPoint training. Remember that subscriptions help greatly to support my work for you. And like this video, if it was helpful, likes encourages me to make more free videos for you. Be generous and share this video with your coworkers. And at this point, go power up your presentations.